This is a demo of the add-on products workspace booking app for Office 365, well, Microsoft 365, and is a mobile app for iOS and Android integrated with the Exchange resources. I've installed the workspace app on my mobile device. I'll just touch it, open it, and it shows me a list of all the reservations I have done. Uh, I wanted to get into office today, so I booked the hot desk 8 from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5. I have a meeting here in about 20 minutes in the conference room 7A. And I also uh, reserved the hot desk 8 on Monday because I need to get into office there as well. There are three main areas in this app. The, if you look at the bottom, then the resource agenda, the new reservation, and find a colleague. And let's start with a new reservation. So at the top, I'm able to touch the plus and then I can create a reservation or book a workspace really and it remembers the settings and what I was searching for the last time I was using this and apparently that was a hot desk but it could also be a meeting room or any other type of resource it will ask me for which date I will just touch it and say I want to get into office on the 11th um, and you can see it changes the time now from 8 to 5 because in my settings I have told the system that is actually my working hours and I need to find a, uh, a workspace and there are more ways to search for it and it states floor plan right now but if I touch the arrow to the right I'm able to choose other uh, ways of finding a resource like a scan a QR code or enter by keyboard but I'm quite happy with the floor plan and now I can touch the magnifying glass uh, next to the arrow and it'll show me a list or, or should I say an image of the office space it's actually just a JPEG image that's been configured to show the uh, workspaces that are bookable. And all the green ones, of course, are the ones that are available, and the red ones are the ones that are busy. And you can see we have also optimized our office landscape here um, uh, with limitations. So uh, we take care of the um, COVID-19 situation uh, at best, or, or keeping up the show, social distance here at the work. Now it's a uh, Denmark Weile. If you look at the top left, it shows me the location I'm in right now. But if I wanted to go to another location, I'll just touch it, and then I can show other uh, locations. But I'm quite happy with the Denmark location in this case. So this is why I, I see the office space here. It is just an image. I am able to zoom uh, if I wanted to. I can also see. Well, let me grab one of the uh, green. Uh, workspaces here are hot desks and you can see if I mark it it will show me at the bottom some information like this is the hot desk 8 I'm quite happy with that so let me just click the check mark and as soon as I do that then I'm back to the reservation window and the last thing I need to consider is do you want to have this booking in my personal calendar so other people can see it um, um, yeah and sometimes it might actually be a good idea to remove it since if people that look into my calendar I actually look busy uh, and maybe if they want to invite me for a meeting, then it would be better if I just book the resource and not really uh, in my personal Outlook calendar. Let me just go to the top right and click the check mark and create this booking on the hot disk 8 on Tuesday the 11th. Now you can see it's been added to the reservation overview here and the difference between this booking and the previous bookings I've done is that there's no check mark. I didn't confirm it yet. <clears throat> so we are able to to have some kind of confirmation uh, and I would say best practice might be I'm doing that maybe the day I have to get into office or maybe the day before because then I'm able to share the resource in a better way or more optimized way with my colleagues. If I want to check into this meeting or this booking right now on Tuesday I would simply swipe to the left and now I have more options available like I can confirm it, I can actually cancel the entire meeting or I can keep the meeting, but just to release the resource. But I know I will be here on Tuesday. Let me just confirm it right now and say yes. And you can see now it adds the check mark. So I know I have already checked in. So the resource would not be automatically released so others can use it. That was kind of the first area to work with. The next area is about uh, finding a colleague. Um, so in case I want to get into office and I need to, to work together with uh, people from my team, I would use this. So I'll click the find a colleague and it will ask me, okay, which day do you want to get into office? Let me just go for the 12th then, Wednesday. And you can see I need to find in a certain person. I'll click the colleague's name. Remember what I, what I searched for the last time, in this case Stan, let me just hit search here. And it shows me a list of all the people that are named Stan or has S-T-A-N in the name somewhere. Let me just click Stan. It'll show me where is Stan actually 
on Wednesday. And you can see here, book the hot desk nine from 8.30 to 12 o'clock. And if I look at the map, then I can see the yellow indication that he's actually, uh, well, where he's placed at the office. If I want to book a hot desk next to him, I'll just touch the map. And now I'll just click on a hot desk close to the yellow indication. So I'll just select that one. It shows me it's hot desk 10. All I need to do now is hit the green check mark and also consider whether I want this to be part of my calendar as well. So I'll just hit the save it on the top right. And now I have uh, created a booking next to uh, Stan next week. And it also looks at the time. Stan was booking from 8.30 to 12 o'clock, so it will do the same thing for me. But of course, I was able to change that to maybe 4 o'clock if I wanted to. The last part in here is the resource agenda. Now, the new reservation, the find a colleague is more about planning. I want to get into my office. However, the resource agenda is more when I'm at the office and I'm working past some workspaces like a hot desk, maybe, or a meeting room. I should be able to scan a QR code to see is it actually available or when can I uh, book it. So I'll just click the uh, resource agenda and it opens up my scanner. And you can see here at our office, we have a list of all, uh, well, we have uh, some hot desks and you can see we have QR codes on these different workspaces. I can just select it and it'll now show me this hot desk is actually booked to 12 o'clock. So if I want to book it in, well, about 15 minutes, I could just hit the plus on the top right and then create the booking. And this is pretty much what the uh, app will do for me. If I, if I want to go to the back end and see some information about the system, uh, I would normally do that on my computer and the browser. Um, but for this purpose here, I just uh, open it up in my uh, uh, on my mobile uh, phone. And you can see it starts out with a dashboard and shows me some statistics like how many available resources are there now now how many are actually in use it could be maybe meetings uh, with no shows well that meetings is microsoft terminology for booking really and you can see what everybody has checked in there are nobody who uh, has booked a meeting room uh, or a hot desk or any type of workspace really that didn't show up and that's quite good um, i could also go to reports and there are some standard reports included like um, agenda I can see a, a list of all the bookings for the day it could be a, a report of all the no-shows so in, in case I want to find out I can see that uh, there's a lot of free workspaces even though it seems they are supposed to be uh, busy then I can run a report for that it could be a list of all the reservations let me just click that one by the way and you can see I can now choose some conditions in here um, I'm just going to run it with everything and you can see the a list of all the reservations and if I look um, down then you can see that hot desk 8 is actually the one I booked here from 8 o'clock to 5. Uh, it could also be uh, maybe a utilization report where I would like to see how much time is actually spent um, uh, at the resources or bookings. Uh, maybe then sometimes colleagues saying we, we weren't able to find any available resources and why is that? Maybe we need more. We need more hot desks or we need more meeting rooms. So what I could do in here, I can simply run a report with a start date and some time and also an end date that will show me some kind of information about, well, if you went, if you look at the bottom, you can see it's only 0% that were actually available all day. And I can tell the, the user here, just walk to uh, hot desk 14 or 15 because they're normally free. If I scroll out to the left again, and you can see, well, we have some system information where we're able to create the uh, settings with the uh, exchange or after 65. We can do some configuration. There are different things we're able to configure in here. Um, let me just click one of the resources. And what I'm seeing out here is a different list of all the resources. Let me just grab one of the hot desks, hot desk 10. And you can see we are able to see some information about the, the different resources in here. We have the QR codes. We are able to print, should I say, a report um, with Avery labels. And uh, so you just have all the QR codes on one piece of paper and not per single resource. But in here, we're able to customize it a bit. Now we can overrule the, the default names from the uh, email addresses. We could also, if I just scroll further down, you can see confirm meeting. We are able to set and say, well, you must com confirm if you want to book this resource. And you're able to, to set that with different amount of minutes. So let's say, uh, well, 30 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever. The last part I want to show you out here is about the location. 
Um, and the location we were looking at before was the uh, Denmark Weile location. There are different things I'm able to configure in here. It shows me a list of all the resources that are connected to that location. And again, this is quite small on this my mobile device browser here, but if I hit the floor plan creator, you can see in here is how we configure the locations with the floor plans. And I have uploaded an image. If not, I'll just click the add the image up on, on top. And I already uploaded it and I've configured a few of the uh, available, well, the, the, the workspaces really. And if I scroll further to the right, uh, I would choose the resource we are talking about, like the hot disk nine. And then I could choose one of the uh, selections here, maybe the rectangle. I could click. And as soon as I save this now on the top right, then this new space is now bookable uh, through the system. And that's really what it's all about. If you want to know more about it, go to add on products uh, webpage and ask for a demo or maybe download the trial. Thank you.